Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to fix a frustrating issue many users face when launching GTA 5 game, an error message that says, no DirectX 12 adapter or runtime found. Please install the latest DirectX runtime or install a compatible DirectX video card. Don't worry, this problem is more common than you think and I'll walk you through the steps to fix it quickly. Let's dive right into the fix. As the error suggests, our first step is to download and install the latest version of DirectX. Open your web browser and type DirectX end user runtime web installer in the search bar. Make sure you visit the official Microsoft website for the download. Once there, choose your preferred language and begin the download. When the installer file downloaded, right click on it and select open to launch the setup. Accept the license agreement and click next. On the following screen, make sure to uncheck the Bing bar option, then click next again. The installer will now download and update your system's DirectX components. This may take a few moments, so sit tight. Once the installation is complete, click Finish to close the installer. Now that DirectX is installed or updated, after that, try launching GTA 5 game again to see if the issue is resolved. If the error still appears, don't worry. There are more advanced steps ahead that we'll walk through next. Open the File Explorer, then navigate to the Documents folder from the left sidebar. Inside Documents, look for the Rockstar Games folder then open the GTA 5 directory. Here, you should find a file named settings.xml. However, in many cases, this file may be missing, which is often the root cause of the no direct X12 adapter or runtime found error. To fix this, you'll need to download a copy of the settings.xml file and manually place it in the GTA 5 directory. Open your browser, and paste this link. I will provide this link in my video description so you can directly copy and paste it from there. Click the download button and save it to your desktop or any location of your choice. Once downloaded, right click the file and select copy it. Return to the documents, then Rockstar Games folder, then GTA 5 folder, right click and choose paste to place the file there. Now, right click on the settings.xml file, choose open with and select notepad. Scroll down to the bottom of the file until you find the video card description tag. Delete the existing value inside that tag and type the exact name of your dedicated GPU for example, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 or AMD Radeon RX 6600. Once done, save the file and close it. Now try relaunching GTA 5 and check if the error is resolved. If previous both fixes does not work and if you're still facing the same issue, let's try one more fix. Open settings from the start menu. On the left sidebar, click system then scroll down and select optional features. Under this menu, click view features. In the search box, type graphics tools. Once the feature appears in the list, check the box next to it, click next, and then click add. It will download and install the tool in your operating system, so it will take some time. Once the graphics tools are installed, restart your PC and then try launching GTA 5 again. With this step, the DirectX 12 support and related graphical components should now be properly recognized, potentially resolving the error for good. If none of the previous methods worked, there's still one final option you can try, modifying the game's DirectX requirement from DirectX 12 to DirectX 11. This has helped many users who are stuck with the DirectX 12 adapter error. To do this, open your browser and head over to the GitHub link provided in the video description. Download the second zip file listed and save it to your PC. Once the download is complete, open the folder, right click on the zip file and select extract all to unpack the contents. 
Inside the extracted folder, you'll find a DLL file. Right click on it and select copy. Now, navigate to your GTA 5 installation directory. For example, on my system, it's located in C drive. Go to program files folder, then go to Rockstar games, then GTA 5 folder. Once you're inside the GTA 5 folder, right click anywhere in the directory and select paste to place the DLL file into the game's root folder. This step will override the default DirectX setting and help resolve the DirectX 12 adapter error. And that's it. I hope one of these solutions helped you fix the DirectX 12 adapter error in GTA 5. If this video solved your problem, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more helpful tech tutorials. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.